so hello guys and welcome to dtw tutorials welcome so it's exactly 30 days to jam 2024 examination okay exactly 30 days i know most of us might be tensed up uh some will be eager to just you know do this exam and, and pass <laughs> you get my point but um for every category of students if you just want to start reading now 30 days to the exam if you are just 50 percent of your syllabus if you have finished your syllabus every category of people right now 30 days as i said in the other video video 60 days to exam right now 30 days is for you to start practice 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 and practice okay drop your textbooks now carry your notes for those who have read you have your notes so carry your notes now and practice and when you fail a question you go to your notes or you go to the the, the solutions okay and when i mean practice please use a cbt app you know um when i was making when i made that video some say oh, everybody wants to sell product and all that it's not all about selling product yes selling product will definitely help me okay it's a business all right it's going to help me dtw tutorials all right financially but still it's also going to help you more why do i say this it is essential you practice with a cbt app and interface i did a video i never knew that students really really ha have need of this video if you see that video i did a video on how to use your computer i never knew a lot of students have need of how as in don't even know how the interface is i didn't know that a lot of people have that problem okay but i thank god i made that video and it's helping people so please use a cbt app invest invest three thousand naira. it's just three thousand naira to activate the dtw jump cbt app is three thousand naira. get it on your phone go to google play store go and get it please i'm telling you invest uh i think i've i've, I've said a story of a student who scored uh last year jam i was begging him oh, because you know because i go to church i you know check on the youth how far i call them are you studying what have you been doing this that i advise them do this do this i told one of them get a cbt app and practice i didn't even advertise my i just said get a cbt app pay for it and practice and he was like no i have bought this uh, jam pack i bought this jam pack is uh, i've spent eight thousand and i bought this jam pack i said yes good fine it's good to get your books it's good to get the paper books but a cbt app because your test is a computer-based test so you need to know you need to get used to the timer you need to get used to how to navigate between questions i've done you know that video i did on how to um use your computer i explained some things there okay so you need to get used to all those things because if you don't oh it will be so you know your timer will just be gone you won't know when 15 minutes passed and you are still on one one subject and you have four subjects to go are you with me you know your jam exam you have four subjects english takes 60 questions the remaining three takes 40 40 40 questions and you have a total of 120 minutes that is two hours to answer so approximately to answer one question you have 40 seconds do you see that time that's why it is important that you start practicing even if you have finished the syllabus start practicing now on a cbt for those that you know that you just want to start studying i still get the message ma you know difficulty and all that recently one of our students on the online classes uh you know we do online class you can also join us right now what we're doing is we are going back from the beginning of the syllabus and we're solving past questions till the jam exam so you can join us all right we do our online classes on google meet and also brainstorming session on whatsapp so uh fortunately he lost his mom i know for a student you know we you know being you know encouraging him and supporting him i know there might be several things that can make you not to read a one someone a, a, a young lady said she just she has been in the hospital it can be sickness it can be um you know loss of a loved one you no know, there are several things that might not make you to read but please as i said if your own is laziness i beg you please get up shake it off dust yourself off dust it off and stand up just do something and right now 30 days to to jump it is not to open syllabus so it is not to open textbook 
just get a DTW CBT app and start practicing. Just practice, practice. It has correct solution. When you finish practicing, check the solution, you know, revise and revise and revise and revise and continue going that way. Use a question search. You can use the question. This, uh, wait, let me even, let me see if I can, if I can do this right now on my phone. There's, there's a part of the, of the app that is, um, let me quickly open it. That is question search. Okay. I think you can see that where where is it question search where where I have to look at it okay yeah here question search okay can you see that I think I've done where you can search English a topic so you can even go open your syllabus you can run through your syllabus by using this question search let's say today sit down and plan your 30 days to the exam today you decide that okay you have a timetable today this physics Open your physics syllabus, each topic, type in that topic there. Look at questions because what it does is you type in physics. Let's say it is motion you want to check on your syllabus. When you type in motion, it curates all questions on motion from the database of past questions it has from 1994. Okay. And you can now start going through each question. And as you go each, through each question, the solutions are right there. So you can do that and also practice. Okay. Where you can come, when you come here, you know, practice for the UTME, you click on it, then select your first subject, select the time. I always advise students, please, when you are practicing, don't practice with the two hours, okay? Practice on that one hour, 30 minutes. So you have, you know, when you are, you've mastered that one hour, 30, anyway, I'm going to do a video. I don't want to, uh, should I even go to my laptop? I'm feeling I should go to my laptop and show you guys how to you know practice i think i should do that let me do that okay so uh, i'm going to go to my laptop now and show you how you can you know um how 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 you can apportion your time okay and study effectively effectively okay while practicing with the cbt app okay i'm going to do that now ah, there's no way to pause this video okay so in order to practice okay let me show you how you can divide your time all right so let's say we select um you know let's go select our subject english is always compulsory so we select chemistry we select uh, biology and we select uh, physics okay so i will just start all right so this is two hours you can see here it's two hours written here okay so in your own exam you type in your jam registration number it will bring up your details you check it okay if it's correct then you go on you click on start okay so you click start all right so you have the timer you can see it starts from two hours jam is what two hours okay so you have english biology chemistry physics all right so two hours how can you divide two hours all right, two hours, meaning you have 120 minutes. Okay, so you can divide it into 30, 30, 30, and 30. So you can give each subject 30, 30 minutes. But remember, I told you that you should, when you are practicing, practice under one hour, 30 minutes. And one hour, 30 minutes is 90, right? That's 90 minutes. All right, so how can you divide this into three, into four, into four subjects? Okay. You can do, uh, let's say 20, 20, 25, 25. All right. So, so that's a total of what? 90. All right. So I will say, okay, use this 90 minutes to make sure you practice now, the next 30 days. Okay. And with this, once you get mastered with this 90 minutes, you have 30 minutes left. And this 30 minutes left, you can now use it to go through your work again. Now, I'm going to show you how you can do this. Now, just 25, 25, use it for your difficult subject. Okay, let's say your difficult subject is physics. So, use 25 minutes here. Let's say also you have your chemistry is also difficult. So, you use 25. But English, biology, they are your easy subjects. You just do 20 and 20. Okay, so quickly... You just go to your easy subject you know some students were asking ma how can i um switch can i switch between um subjects yes it's not compulsory that you start with the first subject that jam shows you you can go just by clicking when you click it takes you into biology 
okay when you click chemistry it takes you into chemistry if biology is your easy subject go for the easy one first go finish it time yourself 20 minutes now look at this timer <clears throat> this is where you need to understand this timer so your timer starts at 0 1 okay that's when your timer starts right when you subtract 20 from here subtract 20 what are you going to have we're going to be left with nine and three okay so you should put in your mind that once i see zero one three nine i should leave this subject and go to the next you have to ski all this time okay because the timer is quite if you know it's not like the normal watch it's a countdown all right so you need to get used to it okay it's a countdown timer all right so you know that you are done with one subject when you subtract another 20 9 1 when your time is this sorry 0 1 when your time is this it means that you should switch to the next subject are you with me and so on okay so the next one also you subtract let's say it is now chemistry subtract so from here now we now have to subtract the next 25 minutes okay so what do we have here so when you subtract you know we can't take away uh 25 from 19 so we have to borrow this one i remember this is an hour when we borrow that one that is what 60 minutes when we add 60 to this it gives us 79 so we will now subtract what uh 25 from 79 and what would that give us that will give us four and five so 54. now the next so when it is this you should know that you should go to your final topic then subtract 25 again all right and you see here that when we borrow one here that's 14 14 that's nine men are four four two so you can see that we have this last 29 minutes that's like 30 minutes that we can now play around with and go back to check our work okay so these are the timer points to take note of Okay, once your timer gets to 0139, you should know you should skip to the next topic, next subject, I mean. Once it gets to 01919, you should skip. When it gets to your 0054, you should, it means you should skip to your final topic. Then when you are done, that's remaining 29 minutes that you have. Then you can now go back and share it again. Okay, that 29 minutes, you can give yourself here uh, maybe 10 minutes to go through this guy uh or let's say you give yourself like five minutes to go through here five minutes to go through here give yourself like 10 minutes to go through here give yourself another 10 minutes okay you can see you have shared that that remaining 30 minutes okay you can reduce it so you have let's say you reduce this to five all right so you have that last five minutes to click your submit button and submit okay so this is how you break down your time are you with me when practicing okay even in exam condition take note of all this key these are tips and tricks you can use for your exam please i beg you know this your countdown well okay know at whatever particular point in fact immediately you get in your exam hall you see this particular point on that rough sheet of paper that you'll be given just take note just put it down put it down zero zero one it means i finished subject biology this this before you click your start button are you with me so you need to have a game plan a strategy before you enter your exam okay as i told as i said the first strategy is start with your easiest subject give your easiest subject 20 20 minutes okay so practice this strategy the next 30 days practice and practice and practice okay so and even in answering your question please if you don't understand a question don't waste me don't waste time you know as i told you you just have like 40 seconds on a question so don't waste time if it's confusing you move you can always come back you know this is a way to come back you can always come back okay if you don't answer just click on the on this on the on the let's say i i answered this you know when you click you answer the color changes okay when you come here you click you answer the color changes so the ones that you did not answer come back to it okay just by clicking on it or you can use this previous and and uh, next button it depends on which you are comfortable with i have also done a video on the nine hot keys keyboard keys that you can use okay your a b c d uh s 
ROI and your PN that you can use. You can watch that video. Okay, so this is the strategy you should be working on, planning, using your 90 minutes. Okay, taking note of this time. Practice it using the CBT app. Get it on your phone. Get it on your laptop. If you don't have a laptop, you can get it on your phone. Download it. Send me a message. Check the link, my profile link. You would see um you know the link to it where you can download on your laptop or on your phones okay so i wish you success in your exam or you know, so finally i just want to say that you still there's still hope okay you're starting to read now no matter what the circumstances there is still hope okay just put in the work that's all i would just say put in the work all right 30 days get your jam cbt app get it on your phone get it on your laptop and just start practicing using this strategy perfect the strategy before you get into the hall don't wait till you get into the hall before you know how to you know navigate this timer please i beg you do not wait till that time okay so i pray for you i pray for speed upon you speed like never before i pray for the grace of god you know to for increase increase in knowledge in understanding in retentive memory whatever you start to read now it shall stick in the name of jesus christ and I pray, O oh Lord, for mercy. You know, that mercy of God that qualifies us for success. I pray for that mercy to come upon each and one, every one of you in Jesus' name. So I please, I encourage you, put in the work. You know, don't don't give any excuse. Don't try, try not to, you know, don't say, oh, I can't understand. I'm done. No, 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 no. You are not. You can understand. You can do it by the grace of God. Okay? So please, I beg you, put in the work. So you know, you just get that 200 cut off and you move on with your life. Alright? So I pray for you and I decree and declare you are destined to win in the forthcoming Jam 2024 examination. examination. Stay blessed and see you in our next video. Bye.